Hey guys, so as you see behind me, the trees are all set up, the landscaping fabric is there and I put down some more soil over uh, that area over there because I didn't have enough. So I got some more bag of so bags of soil and put them there and then put the landscaping fabric over it. Hi guys, my name is Chantelle and today we are going to be planting those trees. I know it looks a little bit crooked, but that's because there's a slope over here. I positioned these trees, each of them, four, foot, four feet apart from each other. So each of these are four feet apart from each other and they are two feet away from the line over here. They grow between four to five feet. So they're pretty well within the line over here. And that one over there, I'm going to have to move because the distance between these two trees is a lot more than four feet. And it's over five feet. It's more like six feet because of this rock over here. So I'm going to push it over a little bit to over there and that's where I'm going to plant it. I know there's this lilac over here. This eventually is going to be moved out of here. I'm going to plant it in that area in the back over there. Obviously I can't move this whole thing so I'll probably take some uh, some branches out of it that have some roots and plant them over there and then I will be taking this out. It's not going to happen this season. I don't know if it's even gonna happen next season, but that will eventually happen. And the branches that are hanging over these trees, after they bloom, I'm going to cut them down so that these trees can get a lot more sunlight and not be blocked by these branches over here. There's that branch on that side, this branch, and this branch over here that have to go so this, this tree can get a lot more sunlight. This one over here I think should be okay because this tree is receiving sunlight from all around uh, so it's gonna be fine. Also in the video where I shared with you about these trees I did share that these trees are also shade tolerant. They're not full shade tolerant but semi shade tolerant. They do receive sunlight between six to eight hours per day uh, and in the afternoon they get some shade but then they get some sun afterwards so it's kind of um, I think they'll be okay. So I got some holly tone with me and some scissors and a cutter, a shovel, and we're gonna get ready for to plant. The reason why I'm using holly tone, oops, the reason why I'm using holly tone is because it also has an acidifier in it. So let's go ahead and read the ingredients and I'll show you where the acidifier is. So you have the total nitrogen in here. There are three different types of nitrogen and uh, I'm gonna bother. <laughs> I'm not going to bother <laughs> reading them. There's also one. Well, well here. Oh well. I'll just read them. There's a wa water soluble nitrogen and water insoluble nitrogen. So I believe that will be distributed uh, without it needing any water. Of course, you have to water the trees because they do need water. But the nitrogen is itself, there's one that needs water in order to uh, have for the trees to have access to it, and, and there then there's another one. Uh, that does not need water and there is the ammonic ammoniacal nitrogen from my understanding uh, the ammonia that's produced during the process of the decomposition of nitrogen it releases ammonia so I'm not sure if that's the same thing over here there's also phosphate and soluble potash which is the uh, it contains uh, potassium as well uh, calcium magnesium and it tells you here the percentages of these things and it also have water soluble and it also has water soluble magnesium as well and sulfur the sulfur is the element that provides the acidity and it has 5% sulfur in here and these are evergreen trees and evergreens like an acidic soil this fertilizer should provide all the nutrients that they need and the acidity that they need so I'm going to be uh, putting some of this fertilizer in each of the holes that I dig for these trees. Uh, I'll mix it in with the soil a little bit and then plant the trees in there.
Um, I still have six more to plant. I also, after I planted them, came with a broom and swept the landscaping fabric because I don't want any soil on that. If any soil or any debris settle on that, then seeds can start to sprout. And when they do sprout in the landscaping fabric, the roots will take hold in the landscaping fabric and it becomes really hard to weed them. I want that super clean. As I mentioned in the two previous videos, <laughs> I will not be putting any mulch over the landscaping fabric. I'm just going to leave it as it is for two seasons so that all the stuff underneath it, so all the seeds and everything that's underneath it is going to die. Then after the two seasons are over, I'm going to come back with some cardboard and maybe some compost and mulch and cover that, uh, that whole area up uh, with that, re well, remove the landscaping fabric and then cover that whole area up. And I will be also planting some flowers in this area. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it this season, we'll see. Right now I start. I have to start focusing on the vegetable garden. I haven't planted that much in there yet and I also have two beds that I still have to weed and fertilize and some trees that I have to fertilize. So I have a lot of things that I need to do and I'm trying to divide my attention to all the things and make priorities so that I can uh, get things going while I have all these things to do. So I will come back in the evening and plant the rest, but for now I planted six of them and I think that's pretty good. I have to head inside right now, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming with me on this journey and if you like these videos, please hit that subscribe button and the bell to receive notifications of whenever I upload new videos and uh, I will update you on this uh, also once uh, I make more progress and I will also be installing an irrigation system for these trees over here and I'll take you along with me once that uh, when I'm ready to do that now I'm just going to water them and let them be and again I'll come back in the evening and plant the rest so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time bye